Hey everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed your holidays. So I am posting a special giveaway. I meant to get this posted before Christmas, but the holidays was just so hectic. I just never got around to it, but I'm finally doing it now. Um, had a wonderful Christmas, so I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas too. I mean, I actually still have my Christmas decorations up, uh, but I love my Christmas decorations. I don't even want to take them down, but they're gonna have to come down unfortunately um so let's just get to it let me these are just a list uh, a pile of things that i need to have when i'm baking some of my favorite things um some things that some of you guys have have a difficult time trying to find when you try to use some of my recipes so i just decided to just um, put it together and um, give it to one of you guys so you guys can be baking what I've been doing. So let's go start with the extracts. So my favorite extracts to use are the Butterfly brand. Um, these, I feel like the flavors are um, very rich and then some of these actually has a really good dye to it, like the ube one. This is my, this is my absolute favorite ube extract to use. Um, it has a wonderful taste a really rich taste and it's got a beautiful vibrant purple in fact sometimes i actually just use this as my um my food dye in some of my some of my recipes and you know you guys usually ask me what kind of purple or like what kind of purple dye do i use it's most of the times honestly i just use a little bit of ube dye but it's just it's so i love 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 this brand however um the the Asia supermarket that I get them at, if you're like in the Sacramento, California region, it's from SF Supermarket. Um, the lately when I have it going, they haven't been selling the butterfly brand extracts anymore. And I'm not hundred percent sure why, and I'm really disappointed. So these are kind of like like gold now, honestly. When I find them, I get a whole bunch of them. So um, these are some of my favorite flavors. Ube, like I mentioned, my absolute favorite flavor. If you don't know ube, it's a uh, purple yam. It's very, um, it's very rich and starchy, but it's really, really uh, flavorful. And it's got a beautiful, um, vibrant purple. And then um, pandan is another one of the flavors that I really enjoy. Um, it's a green color. Like uh, Again, like I said, like the butterfly brand has a beautiful colors to it mango i love this mango flavor um so um a lot of some of my recipes i posted up i use these um uh, these extracts i mean i would link below too like some of the type of things that i have used these extracts for chocolate i love this chocolate one so one of the things that i find when i'm like making like my chocolate cakes or my um, chocolate whipped cream is that uh even though i put in my cocoa powder uh, the color is just not as dark as I want it to be. I want it to have like a richer chocolate color. So sometimes I use the chocolate extract to um, give it that richer chocolate color and flavor also. And then let's see, lychee. I haven't used the lychee one too much, but I want, I've been, um, I'm going to work on a lychee cupcake that I'm going to eventually get up, but I love lychee flavors also. It's just such a, it's such a beautiful flavor. Durian. Okay, this is the one that is most people is gonna have a hard time enjoying. Um, I honestly don't like durian. I know a lot of people does, but I don't. I don't like. The, I can't. Uh, I, I can't stand the smell. <laughs> I think that's what it is that a lot of people just can't stand. But it is a very, um, very popular Asian flavor that a lot of people enjoys that I don't enjoy. Um, so you're probably not gonna see me using that in any of my baked goods, unfortunately. Um, Maybe I give it another try, but I have it, so I'm gonna give one of get one of it to you guys. Banana, I love this banana one. So I use this for my banana bread. Like even though my the banana the banana flavors in my banana bread that I make is pretty rich, this gives it such a beautiful banana smell. So I love 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 this banana extra for my banana bread. Strawberry, um, I'm not a flavor of any of the strawberry extract except for this one. So. That's, I'm going to hand that to you guys. Oh, and then um, uh, McCormick also has a lot of their extracts too. I do not like McCormick as much as I like the Butterfly brand. But if I didn't, if I couldn't find the Butterfly brand, I would go with the McCormick next. Um, and then one of the things that I also love to use in my baked goods is the... It's just the syrup. Um, so I think most of these are really meant to like flavor like cocktails. Um, but I love to use them for my baked goods as well. The flavor is just really like 
um, rich and concentrated, but this is my favorite passion fruit one to use. So I use this for like my passion. Um, passion fruits are very expensive and they're difficult to find, but I love the flavor. Um, so if I cannot use like natural passion fruits, then I go with this to uh, make my passion fruit desserts. Um, so, uh, so I'm hoping that you guys will enjoy this as much as I do because like I said, these extracts are so hard to find, so gold. Um, and then another one, this is for cupcakes. This is to um, make the um, to make the inside hollow. I got this from Wish, so it's simple, but it's I love using it to make the fillings for my cupcakes. So it's just one of the things that I have it that I'm gonna give away to one of you guys. Um, these are baking mats. Some baking mats um, that I've just kind of compiled. I use it all the time for uh, all my bake. For whatever I'm baking, like whether I'm making macaroons or cookies, I love using baking mats. You can never have too many baking mats. So uh, I got some baking mats in here for you also. I'm not sure how many there is in here. Let's see what this says. Uh, three pieces. Oh, and then here we go. This is the cake leveler that I use all the time um i think i've gotten two of these before because one of them broke i've had it for years before i finally broke on me but i will link below um um a video of how i use this but it is just the absolute perfect thing to use when you're trying to level your cake so that you have a nice flat top and nice uh even layers so absolutely must when you're using your cake um and then some of my favorite piping tips actually just Really, this is this one. This is my piping tip I use like all the time. A lot of my videos I use this piping tip. You guys always, I usually link uh, to have in the description box what piping tips I use, but I want to say 80% of the time this is the piping tip that I'm using. So I'm including this in the giveaway. Hold on. I'm trying to show you what, what is the tip, the name of the tip. If I can find, oh, here we go. Okay. This is the Attico A58. So, there you go. But I love this piping tip. It's so beautiful. Um, and then just some Russian tips that I've got that I'm going to give away also. I haven't used them too much um, to truly know how to use them to their best form. But they are wonderful and they're beautiful. If you play with them enough and you learn how to master them, they make some beautiful designs. I haven't gotten there yet, so that's why I haven't really had any videos or tutorials of me using these, but I will be including this in the giveaway also. So details of how to enter the giveaway will be linked in the description box. Um, I don't know the details exactly of what I plan to do. I know it's going to be open to everyone in the U.S., the United States, so if you're watching this from outside the United States, I apologize. Um, but this is just for the United States. So anyway, if you live in the United States, the details will be below of how you can enter this giveaway. And I will let you know how long it's going to be posted up. And it's it will be shipped out, obviously. Um, so I hope you guys, one of whoever gets to whoever wins this giveaway, will really enjoy. It. It's going to be I'll be likely hosting a live drawing um, when I close this giveaway. So thank you so much for following my YouTube channel. Uh, I know most of my videos are not very professional. They're just very amateur. I am not by any means a professional baker, just an enthusiastic baker <laughs> and experimenter really. Um, but I've really enjoyed this year uh, posting, posting the videos up that I have worked on this year. So thank you so much everyone and have a wonderful year.